He said, I'll write my law in their hearts and I'll be to them a God and they'll be to, to me a people. They'll know me. Well, you ain't going to know God if you don't get his word in you. You're going to be preaching this junk and people's going to walk it out and tin cans rattling, junk all of them because you put it on there. Well, amen. Praise God forevermore. God said, that's not me at all. But you want to go in there and say it is? You got a lot to learn. I'm not saying that in a judgmental way. I know we all got a lot to learn. But you got a lot to learn. Praise God. If we're going to represent God, let's represent Him. And if you're not going to represent God, then shut up. Praise God. Shut up and, and listen to somebody that does know Him. Now, boy, that sounds harsh, Brother Gross. Well, bless God, there are going to be people go to hell because they won't listen to God. There are going to be people go to hell because they reject Jesus. And this is, we're talking about an eternity here. We're, talking, we're not talking about another road, another life, and well, let's just be another life, and we'll make it through it, and everything will be all right, and we'll all burn in hell, and we'll just, it's going to be all right, though. You think so? Honey, we're talking about serious stuff here. We're talking about an eternity, either with God or in hell, or away from God. You think that's not important enough for somebody to tell the truth? Sure it is. Why, you want to play pussyfoot around as the old saying is until the game's over and you lost? What is that? Amen. That's why these coaches in these ball games, they push these boys. They push them. What for? End result. We win. I'm going to push you and push you and push you until you get good enough to win. Amen. Otherwise, you're known as a loser. Praise God. Now, I'm not saying, uh, yeah, if we're Christians and we know Jesus, yes, we're on the right road. But there's many people not on that road. There's many people need to get on that road. Glory to God. Now, amen. Now, here's a preacher that I've asked God to help me. Help me tell the truth. Help me speak the truth. I want to know. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not interested in pleasing men. But I am interested in pleasing the Father. And I've asked for wisdom. I need more wisdom. I've got a lot to learn. But I'm not, I'm not going to accept these things that I know is not from God. And if we'll think just a little bit, you can, you can realize that God is not that way. Amen. And then most of these church folks want to sit around, bless their hearts, and be entertained by some preacher. I, I told you last night, and I'll say it again today, because it's a different time, a different broadcast. We won't, we won't read in the Word of God. He says, well, I, now go into all the world and entertain. He didn't say that. Amen. And some people so eat up with entertainment, they're just eat up with it. You can't please them. You can't, you could, the old saying is you couldn't rub sugar in their mouth and please them. They're too hung up on their self. They're too worried about what they look like, sound like, to be even concerned about what God said. Amen. What God is doing. Got their own agendas going on. Amen. Worried about men, pleasing men. Praise God. Some of you preachers is bound, bound to the depths of hell because of people. And you won't, you won't be free because you're too worried about what they think. You can't be free. You better listen to this preacher today. 